What's up guys, today we're taking a look at Minecraft Snapshot 22W17A. There's a lot of new stuff, but I think the most important thing is that the DLA will risk its life to give you items. You also can't hit the LA, which is pretty weird. Speaking of the LA, I find it odd that an LA holding a sword isn't all that alarming. So this snapshot is one of the smaller snapshots for this update, um, just concerning a couple new items and you know, some leveling out with parameters such as damage and stuff like that. One new thing added in this snapshot are goat horns. Uh, we recently saw these added to Bedrock Edition, so it's nice to finally see these in Java. These goat horns are dropped by a goat when, a, when the goat rams a hard block like an ore or a tree. The block has to be natural and from the biome from which the goat came. You can also get horns from vill pillager outposts though, so don't worry. There are eight different variations of the goat horn, and the one that you get will be specific to the biome that the goat you got it from came from. Each horn has a different and unique sound. The names of each horn are as follows. Ponder, which makes this sound. Sing, which makes this sound. Seek, which makes the familiar sound that is actually made uh, when raids are starting. Feel which has a sound that I think is incredibly creepy. And Meyer, which sounds like this. Call, which sounds like a mix of many different sounds and not at all like a goat horn. which sounds like this. And dream, which sounds like this. In other news, explosions caused by player ignited TNT will now, when exploding an ore block, give you experience. Let me explain further. When you mine ore, you get a little experience. You may have seen this or known this, but it's okay if you didn't. But until now, exploding the ores with TNT didn't give you that experience. But in this snapshot, they've made it so that it does. Skulk blocks now have very low blast resistance, which I think is kind of weird considering that if you place TNT next to skulk sensors, they trigger the TNT to explode. Speaking of skulk, there's been some changes to the warden. The warden ranged attack now does 5 hearts worth of damage instead of 15, but the attack now bypasses protection from shields and armor. The cooldown time for the warden's ranged attack has now been reduced from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. And when you get killed by the Warden's ranged attack, there is now a custom death me message. Wardens now also drop Skulk Catalyst. And that is all for this snapshot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. Um, I decided to start doing these snapshot things because I really enjoyed doing up vi update videos for, um, for my mod. And, yeah, so I am currently working on Pop MC episodes, and they will be coming out very, very soon. Um, so these update videos, you know, they're gonna be leak weekly and all that while they're working on these updates. And Pop MC 
episodes, I will say, take a heck of a lot of time to make. So these snapshot videos would kind of just fill out that uh, video release schedule. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And um, make sure you do like if you like me doing these videos. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Remember, I'm doing some special videos when I reach 50 and 100 subscribers. So please make sure you subscribe. And please tell your friends and family about my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.